let us think of ll fault now line to line fault for example if i have phase a b c a b c if fault occurs here okay let us think of fault impedance of zero at starting later we can include uh, what do you say fault impedance now how much is ia is going to be zero unloaded okay how much is ib is nothing but fault current okay because fault current is going to happen here how much is ic is going to be minus ib okay how much is vb this is going to be vb voltage b this is going to be vc so vc is also vb only okay because it is shorted it is shorted okay so let us start our analysis so ia0 ia1 ia2 equal to one third of one 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 alpha 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 square alpha square about this already we discussed okay into ia is going to be how much zero okay how much is ib let us think of fault current and how much is ic minus of ib or minus of fault current okay now let us think of ia zero equal to this plus this plus this is going to be zero as you told in our previous session like you know whenever ground is not involved zero sequence currents cannot flow because means return part should be there okay now let us think of ia1 ia1 equal to one third of alpha into if plus alpha square minus alpha square if okay so alpha if minus alpha square if now what is uh, ia2 ia2 is going to be one third of alpha square if minus alpha if so we can say that ia1 and ia2 are same magnitude but in reverse direction so because like you know alpha minus alpha square alpha square minus alpha so ia1 equal to minus ia2 minus ia2 okay now how much is this for example this is one third of if into alpha minus alpha square okay so if i calculate the magnitude of this ia1 magnitude of this is going to be alpha minus alpha square one at an angle 120 minus one at an angle 240 will give you root 3 so 1 by 3 into if into root 3 so this is going to be if by root 3 now how much is field uh, sorry uh, fault current now is going to be root 3 times ia1 okay keep it aside now actually this particular complete procedure we are not going to remember we are going to remember only the sequence network okay now let us think of va vb again vb va vb vc okay because vb equal to vc so is going to be one 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 alpha square alpha square alpha alpha into va0 va1 va2 okay so this is going to be how much is va va is going to be va0 how much is ia0 we got zero so the moment current is zero voltage will be zero so this is going to be zero okay now va equal to zero plus va1 plus va2 now what is vb is nothing bad alpha square va1 plus alpha va2 okay what is again vb because vc is also vb only is going to be alpha va1 plus alpha square va2 okay so same no same no so this is equal to this okay so alpha square va1 plus alpha va2 equal to alpha va1 plus alpha square va2 okay now va1 va1 into alpha square minus alpha equal to va2 into alpha square minus alpha so va1 equal to va2 problem solved okay so basically va1 equal to va2 voltage should be same and if you think of currents ia1 equal to minus ia2 minus ia2 so if you keep these two in mind voltage magnitude should be same voltage should be same and current should be in reverse direction so they should be connected in parallel 
okay so for example this is going to be th okay and this is going to be x1 and parallel connection this is going to be x2 okay so va1 equal to va2 for example here this is va1 here this is va2 va1 equal to va2 means condition is satisfied condition is satisfied and after that like you know current flowing through this is a1 and this is a2 now a1 equal to minus a2 voltage magnitudes are same so forget about everything forget about everything it means only remember this okay so v theven in x theven in x2 will be connected in like this okay x not will not be there because ground is not there okay so ground is not connected now next thing is like you know how much will be the ia1 now by this ia1 is going to be vth by x1 plus x2 now what is fault current fault current is nothing but root 3 times ia1 so fault current equal to root 3 times ia1 okay so enough enough okay now we can directly solve problems okay let us take a problem the positive sequence negative sequence and zero sequence impedances of a three-phase generator are z1 z2 z0 respectively for a line to line fault with fault impedance zf the fault current is if1 okay so when zf is included for example in this uh, previous network if zf is given okay fault impedance is given what we have to do we have to add fault impedance here okay so whatever the current for example in between these two if i have fault sorry zf zf through zf what current should flow ib only okay so like you know fault current has to flow through zf or not yes so this is going to be zf okay now coming back to here okay so let us think of if zf is included this is going to be if1 okay fault current one so if zf is included let me draw this is going to be theven n okay and here this is positive and this is zf and this is z2 okay so this is going to be z1 and this is going to be zf fault impedance and this is going to be z2 and here current is going to be a1 what is fault current if1 is going to be root 3 times a1 so what is this root 3 into vth by z1 plus zf plus z2 right because zf is included now let us think of if where if is the fault current with zero fault impedance with zero fault impedance is zf so let us start with vth x1 x2 zf is zero so in this conditions this is going to be a1 okay what is fault current root 3 times a1 so here if equal to root 3 times i a1 actually this i a1 is different this i a1 is different okay so this is going to be root 3 into v theven in by z1 plus z2 or x1 plus x2 okay so between if1 and if he is asking the relation so for example if1 equal to how much equal to root 3 vth by z1 plus zf plus z2 equal to some k times because if1 equal to k times if okay so some k times what is if root 3 vth by z1 plus z2 root 3 vth root 3 vth okay now means z1 plus zf z1 plus z2 equal to k into z1 plus z2 plus zf okay so means like you know the relation between zf and k okay so the relation between zf and k if you do that is going to be this z1 plus z2 into 1 minus k by k okay means you do this you will get it 